Morning Year 5, and one of your tasks today is to read the story One Chance. I'm going to read the first part to you. Outside, the evening was cold and wet. A, squ a squally wind howled, rattling the roof tiles and shaking the window frames of 13 Wager Road. Inside, shabby curtains were drawn, a humble fire crackled, and a couple sat in silence. Jack stretched out on the tired couch with an amused smile, turning the page of his favourite novel. Sarah scowled, silently seething. She scanned the room, noticing the worn-out furniture, peeling paint, and, in her opinion, a pointless, idle husband. She deserved so much more than this. Suddenly, the letterbox jangled, and there was a solitary but decisive knock on the door. Hope, the Labrador, barked. Sarah pulled back the curtain and watched as a hooded figure slipped silently away up the road. Puzzled, she stared down at a golden card that had appeared, glinting on the frayed doormat. Tentatively, she gathered it up and read it out loud. Golden Lottery Ticket Limited, congratulations! You have been selected as one of our lucky lottery winners. This golden ticket entitles you to receive one of three exclusive wishes. Simply scratch the card and make your wish. Once you have claimed your wish, pass on the luck. It says small print here, it's slightly covered. Remember to use your wealth is not the root of happiness. And she's redeemed, she's chosen wish one there. It then will ask you, I'm going to stop reading there, because it's actually going to ask you to predict what might happen with the rest um, of the story. And then it's got here, that you might have noticed there were words in bold there, but it's going to ask you to come up with definitions for those words. Now remember, you've got to read around the word. I don't just mean read a couple of words either side. Read sentences around it. Read the whole paragraph around it. Try to get a sense of what that word might mean. And to help you, it's actually giving you a similar words help box. So if you think you might know what that word means, try putting this word in its place and, and see if that fits in there. If it does, then you can work out the definition. However, if you are really still struggling, I'd rather you use those strategies first, but an absolute last resort is to go on to the Oxford, Learning, uh, Oxford Learners Dictionaries. Okay? I've chosen that dictionary because it's child friendly, so the definition is more likely to be put in words that you'll understand. Okay? Best of luck.